my name is Jeff Marsh, also known as Gypsy Jeff or Geo the Clown. I am a traveling vaudeville variety circus performer, specializing in family entertainment and uh, making people laugh. I travel all around the country doing shows as far as San Diego to Portland, Oregon, to New York, to Key West. Uh, it was a great show. Had a lot of fun. There was a lot of energetic kids. Uh, um, what I was really proud of is all the kids who were, uh, stayed afterwards to learn how to spin a plate and juggle. I don't normally get that many kids who want to stop and learn, so that was, that was really fun. You'd, you'd be surprised that there's like some really naturally good kids at it, and a lot of them excel and go forward. You know, some of them will hand a plate and a stick in their hand, and they'll get it. Like some, like one kid today. I didn't even say, all right, well I'll teach you. You know, I just gave him the basics, explained what to do, and he did it on his own. Are the parents encouraging? Not always. No. They're always like, hey, well, let's go. Come on, we have stuff to do. Because if the parents did it, they would. You know, the fact that the parents aren't as encouraging as I'd like them to be is kind of a downfall because they're the ones that's stopping them from learning because they want to take them and go do their thing. And, you know, it's nice to have like a festival like this, like Kids Festival, that, you know, it's a festival for kids. And of course, they bring their kids here to have fun. So it's not necessarily bring them to state fair. Well, the parents all care about is getting their cream puffs and going on like the, the sky chair ride. Well, the kids want to stick around and watch the shows. You know, and the parents are the ones that drag them away. So it's not always the parents are supportive, but you'd be really surprised that those are the ones that, you know, will, will take the time and then encourage their kids. And few and far between, you'll find something like that. Do you think it, uh, it makes a difference for the kids, like what you're teaching them? I hope. It's, you know, it's, it's, some, some will stick, some will won't, you know? I teach a lot of inner city kids and a lot of them, you know, I might be able to help three out of, you know, ten, but at least I reached three of them. At least some of them got to the point where they could actually, you know, actually get to a point where they're really happy about where that, what they're doing and they're excited about what they're doing and they want to show everyone, you know, it's like, hey, look what I can do, you know, you'd be surprised. But, you know, you give me, you know, 15 minutes, I'll give you the best I can and you give me 20 minutes, I'll give you even better. You know, if you give me a whole half hour to an hour, I bet you you're going to learn whatever you want to learn within that time. Why do you think the other performers don't do that? Well, of course, you know, at the end of his show, he didn't have much time. You know, he just did a high energy, you know, 30 minute show. And he's like, all right, kids, well, I want to teach you how to juggle. And he throws all the balls on the ground and the kids pick up two balls. And so right here, this is how you throw one ball. Okay, okay, and this is how, how you take that second ball. Okay, now this is how you throw the second ball. And he's totally teaching him the the wrong method to how to juggle and so right now throw it really high because he gives what the kids what they want to see he gives the audience what they want to see and the kids have instant gratification though there isn't all that much time for you know uh, uh, what I'm really trying to say is the kids don't have time to find out that it's really challenging they don't they can't challenge themselves it's not as it's not as easy as they think it is you know and I want them to show them that it's hard it's challenging and there's so much to it not just throwing a ball up in the air and catching it. Why does it need to be challenging? Everybody needs a challenge in life. You can't be held everything on a, you know, silver platter and just handed it to you by butlers. You gotta work for what you want. You know, if you work hard enough, you're gonna achieve it. And if you're gonna find out a way to do it, you're gonna find out the hard way. Is that what you've done? I've done both. You know, I've taken the easy way out and I've found my mistakes to be that, you know, it's just not the way to go that I try it a little bit harder and I try it the hard way. It's more rewarding and I find out that I'm a lot happier what I do. So for people who say you can't make a living doing what you do, what do you tell them? I tell them you can. I tell them quit your day job, do what you want to do. And I tell it to be everyone after every one of my shows, you can do whatever you want to do as long as you apply your mind to it. You know, people tell me, well, how do you make a living as a juggler? Well, I tried really hard. You know, I, I started working in the street and I worked my way up. Now I don't have to work the street anymore. I don't have to beg for money in the street after showing people my tricks. 
people are willingly to, you know, to invite me into their home, invite me to their party, invite me to their corporate event, invite me to, you know, their festival that they have in their town, 100 miles away, you know. People are inviting me to wherever they want me to be. They want to see me where they are. And I don't have to go to them anymore because they all come to me. You don't miss a sense of uh, stability at all? Sure, of course I do. But, you know, that's when I really get bored, you know. And it's very rare that I get bored. And sure enough, it's, if I get any type of feelings that I want to stay in some place, sooner or later something's going to draw me to want to go somewhere else. So when you travel, where do you live? Sometimes I live out of a tent, live out of my car, live out of the kindness of strangers, and uh, sometimes I go on couchsurfing.com and meet some nice people. Other than that, I'll locate the local juggling club and try to find local carnies in town that are willing to put me up. It doesn't bother me. It's just, you know, the life I've chose, you know. You never know where you're going to stay. You never know what town you're going to be in next. You never know, you know, all these influences are going to apply to you. You don't know who you're going to meet. So it's, I like the adventure. I like the spontaneity of it. What if you have a, how do you feel like if you have a bad show? I feel bad. I feel real bad. I feel like I could have done better. I'm always the worst critic watching my show. You know, I, I, I'm sure enough I've seen my show over 600, 700 times. And I know what's a good show and what's a bad show. And what's a mediocre show. But if I do a bad show, I will go out of my way and I'll go anywhere I can and I'll perform again and just end on a good note. I like to always end on a good note. And if I was to do something and it just, you know, something messed up, something slipped up, I just, I'd rather end with everyone happy and cheering. Always. I think the kids are the star of the show, not me. I'm the gateway to the, to the star of the show, really. I, 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 I help bring out what's inside the kid that wouldn't normally be expressed in any way possible. If I could find a way to take that kid, break down his wall of you know, discomfort, and finally make him feel comfortable to be on stage and not have a care in the world. You know, I'll have kids who are kind of, you know, you know they get a little attitude and they kind of don't want to follow my directions. You know, I'll, I'll ask them to kindly go sit down. And you saw today, that kid walked right back up on stage, own free will. I didn't tell him to do a thing, but he knew what he was going to do. I just, I feel really rewarded by it. I just feel like the kids would say, oh, how do you do that? I'll show you. You got a minute? <laughs> you got the time? You know, there's, a, there's, there's so many opportunities for someone just to learn something new that they never thought they could do. Give them that opportunity to. Let them shine a little.